During the reign of King Herod of Judah, there lived a priest named Zechariah. He had a wife named Elizabeth, who was a descendant of Aaron. They both loved God and obeyed His commandments, and because of this, they were considered righteous in God's eyes. They desperately wanted a family, but Elizabeth could not have children. One day, when Zechariah was serving at the temple, he was chosen to burn incense inside the temple. And while he was there, a great angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to him. Zechariah was terrified, but the angel of the Lord told him not to be afraid because he had wonderful news. Your prayers have been heard, and Elizabeth is going to give birth to a child. She will have a son, and you are to name him John. The angel went on to say, Many people will rejoice at the birth of your son, and he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. Zechariah wanted to believe what the angel said, but he and his wife were now very old, way beyond the age when married couples start a family. So Zechariah asked the angel, How can I know this will really happen? The angel replied, I am Gabriel, and I stand before God himself. The Lord sent me to give you this good news. The angel then told Zechariah that because he did not believe his words, he would not be able to speak until after the child was born. A little while later, Zechariah left the temple and went home, but because he couldn't speak, he was unable to tell anyone about the miraculous event that took place in the temple that day. Sometime later, just as the angel Gabriel said, Elizabeth became pregnant and gave birth to a son. All of their family and neighbors celebrated his birth with them and assumed that they would name the baby Zachariah after his father. But Elizabeth explained that the child was to be named John. So they asked Zechariah what he wanted him to be named. Zechariah could not speak, so he wrote on a tablet, His name is John. And they were all astonished. At that very moment, Zechariah was able to speak again, and he began to praise and thank God. All of this took place to fulfill God's promise that John would turn the hearts of his people to the Lord their God and he would prepare them for the coming of the Messiah, God's only Son, Jesus. Not long after God created everything and everyone on the earth, sin entered the world. Adam and Eve were the first people God created, and they sinned by disobeying God. God was heartbroken when they sinned because He knew what would happen as a result of their sin. The world God created was no longer perfect because of sin, but God had a plan. He promised to send a Savior, born of a virgin, who would save us from our sin. Many years later, a man named Joseph was engaged to be married to a young woman named Mary. Mary was special and different from many of the other young women at that time. Mary was very brave. She always tried to obey God, and she had faith, especially in God's promise that someday He would send a Savior for the world. One day, God sent an angel named Gabriel to Mary. Mary was very surprised and frightened to see an angel right in front of her. But even though she was afraid, she did not run or hide. Don't be scared, Gabriel said to her. God is very happy with you, Mary. He sent me to tell you that you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus and he will be God's own son. Mary was shocked and surprised, and she didn't understand everything that was happening to her. She was not married to Joseph yet, so how could she have a baby? But Gabriel told her, nothing is impossible with God. Mary had great faith, and she believed the angel Gabriel. So she said to him, I am God's servant. Let it be done to me as you have said. In 
Gabriel left Mary. A little while later, another angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. She is pregnant and will give birth to God's own son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. You will name him Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he obeyed God, and Joseph and Mary were married. All of these things took place to fulfill God's promise he made long ago to save us from our sin. Jesus was born of a virgin, just as God said. He is God's own Son and the Savior of the world. About 2,000 years ago, when King Herod ruled a country called Judea, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in Nazareth. The girl's name was Mary, and she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Mary was afraid when the angel appeared, but Gabriel told her, Don't be scared. God is very happy with you, Mary. He sent me to tell you that you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus, and he will be God's own son. Mary was shocked and surprised, and she didn't understand everything that was happening to her. She was not married to Joseph yet, so how could she have a baby? But Gabriel told her, nothing is impossible with God. Mary had great faith, and she believed the angel Gabriel. So she said to him, I am God's servant. Let it be done to me as you have said. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin, Elizabeth, who everyone thought was too old to have children, would have a baby boy, and he would prepare the way for Jesus. Mary then went to visit her cousin Elizabeth and her husband, Zechariah. Elizabeth was very happy to see Mary. She knew that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. An angel had already told Zechariah that Elizabeth's baby was to be named John, and he would prepare the people for Jesus. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then returned home to Nazareth. Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage had taken place. He wondered if he should put off the wedding altogether. Then. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The angel explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. He told Joseph that the baby would be named Jesus, which means Savior, because he would save people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel told him to do and took Mary as his wife. At this time, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was part of the Roman Empire. The Roman Emperor Augustus ordered everyone to go to the town where their families came from to register for a census. Mary and Joseph had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem because that was where Joseph's family came from. It was about 70 miles, a very long trip. Some people had donkeys, but most people walked in those days. Joseph and Mary traveled very slowly because it was almost time for Mary's baby to be born. When they came to Bethlehem, they couldn't find a place to stay. So many people had come to register that every house was full and every bed was taken in all of the guest rooms. The only place that Mary and Joseph could find to stay was in a barn with the animals. While they were there, Mary had her baby. She gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, a long box that the animals ate their hay from. That night, some shepherds were taking care of their sheep in fields outside of Bethlehem. Suddenly, an angel stood in front of them, and the glory of God shone all around them. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you and for everyone. Today, in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born for you, and this will be the sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. 
Then many more angels appeared, and the shepherds heard them praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to everyone on earth. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go straight to Bethlehem to see what has happened. So they hurried to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. The baby Jesus was wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger, just as the angel told them. After they saw him, they told everyone what the angel said to them, and that they had seen this special baby with their own eyes. Everyone who heard their story was astonished. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God for everything they had seen and heard. Jesus was born to be the Savior of the world. He came to save us from our sin and give us eternal life.